baby! That's what we've been waiting for! After years and years of asking, Tesla has finally revamped the referral program, which means everybody gets to benefit from this, okay? If you have a Tesla, if you don't have a Tesla, if you're running a YouTube channel about Teslas, in particular, I think those people have a lot more to gain, sorry. But overall, this is, in my opinion, a much better demand lever than wasting money on advertising because this actually rewards people for speaking genuinely and honestly about the product. It kind of encourages the customers to become the advertisers and I think this was way way cheaper than some stupid ad campaign where you're probably gonna have really really low conversion rates because most people don't buy cars based on car commercials but yeah essentially now by using someone's referral code maybe mine in the description or in the about section of this channel if it's your first Tesla let's say a Model 3 or Y you get 1500 referral credits and you can use those towards supercharging of course but it's not exactly the same as it was before I can tell Tesla was tinkering with the formula a bit because obviously on the previous program there were some people that racked up so many referral points that they had way more supercharging miles than they could ever redeem. So that's what's kind of interesting about this new credit feature is you can now redeem referral credits towards other things besides supercharging, but I feel like supercharging is the one most of us are likely to use, so that's why I'm kind of pushing it as, hey, if you are about to order a Model 3 and Model Y, you can get a free 500 miles worth of super charging just by using someone's code so please please from here on out I don't care if it's my code or not just please do not just order a Tesla without using a referral code it's like burning free supercharging miles that are sitting there it takes like no time at all especially if you're the kind of person to watch YouTube which you are right now just click someone's link I don't care anyone's and you'll get a free 500 miles of supercharging or maybe you don't live by a supercharger and you want to use it towards other things that's kind of the cool part of this redesigned loot box system so if somehow you're able to rack up more like three or four referrals then you can actually redeem 2,000 supercharger miles for 4,800 credits so a little bit better value when you buy in bulk but here's the one I'm sure a lot of you are probably more interested in Tesla actually just launched a Cybertruck raffle and entries into this raffle are only 500 credits which means if anybody out there buys a Model 3 or Y and wants a shot at winning a Cybertruck one of the first ones off the assembly line you can enter up to three times just off of that one referral referral code even if it's your first Tesla and you're just buying a Model 3 or Y you'll have enough credits to enter three times into the Cybertruck raffle so that's pretty cool but on the accessories and lifestyle page there's also some more affordable options if supercharging your Cybertruck raffle isn't your game like there's Tesla t-shirts and merch that you can get like three shirts I think with 1500 credits and there's a license plate holder there's the Model 3 and Y center console trays which I find personally very very helpful and it's kind of a shame they don't include them with the car but as long as you make sure to use somebody's referral code when you're ordering your car you should be able to access those trays now for free and if there's other people in your personal life that end up buying Tesla's based on your experience with it and you give them your referral code and you rack up some more credits there's all kinds of things you can redeem these towards now like the wall connector the CCS combo adapter pet liners roof racks floor mats pretty much anything you can imagine from the Tesla accessories page like of course the cyber belt buckle which is I'm sure what all of us want to wear and the one I'm actually most excited for and curious about is the software upgrades tab. So this is something that I really think only YouTubers will probably refer enough people to actually qualify for. But yes, now with this revamped referral program, if you refer enough people, you can actually use those credits on enhanced autopilot or full self-driving. So to figure out how many people you need to refer, it's important to keep in mind that the referrer, the person whose code you're using, actually gets more credits than you do. I guess that's to encourage existing owners to push their referral code a little bit harder which means if someone uses your code they get 1500 credits but you get 2000 credits so doing a little bit of basic math here that means if there's some youtuber out there that's able to rack up 60 referrals assuming all of those 60 referrals all buy a model 3 or Y, they'll actually have enough credits to buy full self-driving just off of referrals alone which is kind of impressive to me if you consider that's a fifteen thousand dollars software upgrade. So if that's still too crazy for you, they still have enhanced autopilot for 55,000 credits, which assuming everybody using your referral code buys a Model 3 or Y, that would take about 28 referrals for you to get enhanced autopilot with the car, which is kind of cool. But I think this is great because there's some people obviously that can take advantage of supercharging miles, but the downside of that was I think it encouraged a lot of people to supercharge when they didn't have to, and that's bad for your battery pack, it clogs up the superchargers, and I think a lot of people out there would 
would have loved to use their referral credits on other things like Tesla accessories or merchandise like the sipping glasses that can't sit on a table or people out there of course that are referring cars all the time but want to test out some of the new software features like enhanced autopilot or full self-driving or they want to have a chance at winning a free cyber truck which I think Tesla might be getting ahead of themselves considering they still haven't given out any free roadsters which they promised like five six years ago but we're already starting to give out cyber trucks again like what either way I'm just so grateful that Tesla as a company rather than waste money on keeping prices high or not improving the referral program so that they can buy more Super Bowl ads and just have generic ads that try to convince people that are probably dismissive of EVs anyway that they should buy an EV and I don't think a commercial would change their mind instead let's just reward our existing customer base like the people that have been advocating for our brand advocating for a product and talking about how great supercharging is or how great owning an electric car is and how great not having the stupid start button is and the Nax connector being so much more superior and the interiors being so well made whoever's been pushing for the product and encouraging people to buy it let's reward them by giving them more credits that they can use towards basically whatever they want and in the past I actually used my friend Mike's referral code on this channel because I didn't have a Tesla so I wanted those referral miles to go towards someone who could take advantage of them and he could so he used up his free supercharging and I thank you to everybody who used his code but now that I finally have a code of my own I'm actually kind of curious like what do you guys think if we do rack up some referral credits on this channel what should I put them towards do you want me to enter the Cybertruck raffle do you want me to put them towards enhanced autopilot or full self-driving or should I just save them for road trips so that supercharging's cheaper what would you guys do with your referral credits and are there people in your life that you're gonna try to remind hey I've got a code you can benefit from it I can benefit from it also by the way in case anyone out there is considering getting Tesla solar that's where there's some pretty massive credits to be made so the activation of a solar roof or solar panel system from Tesla if they use your code is 9,000 credits so that's a pretty big jump and the other cool thing is Tesla now has loyalty credits for if you yourself are ordering a Tesla vehicle and you already have one so if it's your second Tesla or maybe your third or fourth Tesla if you're really rich they'll reimburse you with credits using basically your own code which is kind of neat and of course if someone buys a model S or X with your referral code you get like 3,500 credits per vehicle instead of 2,000 but those cars at least right now are already coming with three years of free supercharging so I imagine the buyers of the model S or X that are gonna get 2,500 credits when they take delivery they're probably gonna want to use those credits towards accessories or merch or whatever because they already get free supercharging for three years but I love it when companies have to try harder to win people over and this is why I don't think Tesla needs advertising because we're already doing it let the youtubers take the lead on that one because I think these days especially with big purchases like cars people are less likely to trust what they see in a commercial like wow she Chevy won some GD Power Award. No, what they're gonna do is hear about a brand or hear someone in their personal life that drives one of those brands and then look up reviews on a site like YouTube. Okay, what are owners saying? Are there bad reviews of Teslas? Are there good reviews of Teslas? What are the bad ones saying versus the good ones? And I think people will have a lot more validity and trust in what online reviews are saying from actual customers that paid money for their vehicles rather than a paid advertisement. So thank you, Tesla. Please keep the referral program around this time. Don't take it away and uh, if you're thinking about ordering a car please consider using the referral code because Model Y prices just went up another 250 bucks last night and Model S prices also went up another $1,000 so sounds like demand is kind of increasing again maybe with the lower prices and tax credit and everything Model 3 prices have stayed the same by the way which in my opinion is the best Tesla factoring in cost of ownership and everything I would still take the Model 3 rear-wheel drive or of course you can wait for Project Highland there's all good stuff to come but thank you guys for hearing me out and thank you to everybody supporting this channel directly seriously helps us out a ton as does just watching these videos so thanks again have an excellent rest of your day